Today, I'm showing you how to get started using our new AI recovery assistant. We believe this marks a huge step forward in how we do 12-step recovery. With the assistant, you never need to face a triggering situation alone again. Working the steps becomes as easy as walking and talking, and sometimes confusing inventories become a back and forth dialogue more similar to a therapy session. So let's get started. First, tap on the assistant button. That's the middle button on the navigation bar at the bottom. You'll see our three main functions for using the recovery assistant, open chat, work the steps, and do an inventory. I'll show you how to use each of these more in depth in separate videos. But first, I wanna show you the introduction. When you first start using the assistant, either when working the steps or doing an inventory, you'll be asked a series of introduction questions. I'll choose work the steps here. You can see I'm in Al-Anon and I'm a relative newcomer and I'm about to start my step work. For newcomers, it's really helpful to introduce what 12-step recovery is, what a sponsor is, why the literature or meetings are important. And it also helps train the assistant on your level of familiarity and previous engagement with the 12 steps and your chosen program. So let's do this together. I'll hit start step work and I'll be greeted with my first introduction question. And it's asking me, can you share your experience with the 12 steps? I'll briefly say that I've been in Al-Anon for four months. Have you had a chance to attend regular meetings during these four months? Yes. About one or two meetings a week, sometimes online. You can see this is a good way for the assistant to judge. Are they talking to a newcomer? Are they talking to a veteran who's been around a long time? It's going to help the assistant judge how much is worth explaining versus how much is worth going in depth for on different subjects. The next question is, have you found a sponsor in al -Anon yet? And a brief point about how valuable sponsors are, of course. I'll just say that I started working with a sponsor one month ago. You see how validating the assistant is? reinforcing what a good decision that is and why it's important to have. Then it's asking me, have I read any of the literature recently, like how Al-Anon works or one day at a time in Al-Anon? For each of our different programs you can find in the app, it's going to be referencing the specific literature that's relevant to you. I just finished the part about step one. Did I find any particular insights or realizations? I think and I'll just say that I'm struggling to accept step one, perhaps. I look how it's probing me to go deeper here, always looking for ways to improve my experience. I love it. No matter what I do, I can't make my wife stop drinking and I'm miserable from trying. I'll just say that I'm ready for my own recovery. I'm ready for step one. All right. It's going to tell me that the questions are based on the big book, adapting them to Al-Anon principles. That's an important point. And I have the option to use original or modernized language. That's confusing. Let me just ask about that. What is 
modernized language. Great. So you can see that we actually have the option in the app to choose from two different language styles. These are classic and neutral. Classic is the original text that it comes from. In many cases, that can be quite an old text written decades and decades ago. Whereas neutral style is a more modernized contemporary style. It replaces terms like God with higher power. Character defects gets replaced with personal challenges. And overall, just a more modernized and gender neutral approach. It's supposed to be more inclusive and accessible for those who struggle with certain terms, but need the help that 12 step recovery can offer. So I'm going to say, yes, I'd like the modernized version. Remember when you're interacting with AI, it is much more like a conversation than it is in terms of a machine just pressing buttons and getting the same response each time. And so you get two options. One is revisit later. That's if you really wanted to keep diving deeper into these questions you've been asked. The next is start step work. And I think I'm ready to move on and start my first step work question. I'll go into more detail on step work in another video.